Hello everybody, WJS Gamer 20 here. Welcome to the final video of Grand Prix. Well, kind of, because we're going to be doing another cup later. Welcome to the final video of the, um, well, I wouldn't say the final, but the, like, um, because we will be doing Grand Prix later, but let's just say it's the final. But welcome to the I don't know how to say it. You know, I'll just say it as the, uh, um, kind of the final video of Mario Kart Wii, and we're gonna be doing the Lightning Cup, and next pairing we have, or next characters we have is Diddy Kong and Bowser Jr. Honestly, kind of hard to decide, because I probably would pick Diddy Kong, because he's cool, but I don't know. Actually, I don't know who to pick here. And honestly, I don't know why these two are both middleweights. They should be lightweights, because Bowser Jr. looks pretty much the same size as Dry Bones and all these other lightweights. You know what, let's use Bowser Jr. just because, well, Bowser's castle is in this cup. So yeah, I feel like it makes sense to use Bowser Jr. And we used a car in last video, so let's use a bike. I kind of want to use these other bikes, but they're just not really that good. So I think I'm going to use the Dolphin Dasher, just because these bikes may look nice, but they're just not that good. Like, the only best bikes are the Moth Bike and the Dolphin Dasher. These other ones are just not really that good. So let's use the Dolphin Dasher. The Dolphin Dasher is kind of similar to the Moth Bike. The only difference is it has a lot of, like, a lot more off-road and a bit more acceleration than the Moth Bike. Also, I like that yellow on the bike as well. Yeah, yellow is my favorite color, by the way. So, let's do the Lightning Cup. So, in this cup, we have Mario Circuit 3 from Super Mario Kart. Pe we have Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. DK Mountain from Mario Kart Double Dash. And Bowser's Castle from Mario Kart 64. Some pretty interesting tracks. Be on your hand, not kind of interesting, but yeah, it still are. So now I'm going to start with a track that I actually don't really like that much, and I'm going to explain why. This is Mario Circuit 3 from Super Mario Kart. And I think I explained why I hate this track in the playthrough of Super Mario Kart. Well, basically, when uh, me and my friends used to play this game online, they would, like, always pick this track because they knew I hated it, and they would do it, like, just for a laugh. And it was very annoying because, like, I kept on saying, guys, why do you keep on picking this track? And they were, like, just to annoy you, which is not how friends are supposed to behave. But, you know, it's just the way they were. <clears throat> but yeah, I just don't really like this track at all. And, like, it's probably my least favorite, along with Moonview Highway as well. And this is a pretty weird place to put this track, like the Lightning Cup. Like, this track is just not appropriate for the Lightning Cup. It's very short, very simple, and just does not have a lot to it. So I don't know why this track would be in the Lightning Cup. Also, it would make no sense if this was the final track as well for this cup. Because usually Mario circuits are like the, the second or the first track. Just like the Mario circuit in this game was the first track in the Flower Cup. Alright, 
Right, so right now I have a feeling there's going to be a blue shell because we've not had one yet and usually that means there might be one right now. Nope, there was no blue shell for that entire raid. It's very okay with that, but again, kind of weird because you normally see a, a lot of them, but whatever. So yeah, just not a huge fan of this track. It's just just not that interesting. Like if you want to know what more why I hate this track in um this game, and then just go check out the playlist for Super Mario Kart and press the flower cup and then fast forward to the uh end because that's the this Mario Surrogate 3 is actually the last track for the Flower Cup. And then I'll explain to you all why that's not really my favorite. But yeah, I just have it all explained in that video when we did that track. So next we have Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. This is a very cool track. Yes, it is a Peach Quartz which I kind of hate. The only thing I hate about this track is the fact that it's a Peach Quartz, because you know, even though like there is also Peach Beach as well, which I, I don't think I said I hated that track, but you know. This is a very cool track though. It's very, uh, Peach has a very nice garden, which is very cool. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice to go through all this, like, it's nice to look at this garden, especially that statue of Mario, or Grass Mario, because, yeah, it's made of grass, as you can see there. And if you do this track on time trials, actually that shortcut, we can skip a lot of the grass there. It's definitely a shortcut I always use when I did time trials in this form. There's also this little shortcut right here. Which I think it's actually a bit faster than just taking the other route. And then there's obviously that one after that big uh, shortcut um, on the section of the grass. And I'll actually show you what that is. So let me just get to it. Also, you can actually go like around the hedge. And I have no idea why any of you would want to do that. That's just too slow. It's that part of the chain shop where I'm talking about. So right here, yep, you can just do that. Definitely much faster than the uh, normal route. And then to avoid the chain chomps, just go the way I go and just make sure you don't run into the chain chomps. Right here, you can also get a mini turbo if you want to do them anyway. Oh. For a second, I thought there wasn't going to be a mole popping out, but there actually was. And I will take a first place, thank you very much. We've also had no blue shells yet, which is kind of weird. It's actually very weird. It's like they don't exist. I mean, imagine if blue shells were never a, an item. Like I said, they just, they just ruin everything, blue shells. They ruin my big lead. They get me out of first, they're just so annoying, but, you know, they're part of Mario Kart, so let's not leave them out. But, like, someone says that blue shells are awesome, I'm gonna hit you in the face, because they're, they are completely not awesome. They are completely stupid and annoying, because... Well, I'll give you an example why they're annoying. Just listen to this. Imagine if you're about to win a race, like it was the final lap, and then a blue shell just comes and hits you, and then you get second place. 
and like you just get so annoyed and that's the reason why it's so annoying yeah that's something like you guys need to agree with me on it's just because like if you're just about to win your first race ever and then a blue shell comes along and ruins it all for you it's just very annoying and i honestly hope that they're not in Mario Kart 9, like, if there is ever a Mario Kart 9. And also, in Mario Kart 8, they actually call the blue shells a spiny shell. Kind of random, but whatever. Because, yeah, like, if you looked at the health section and the items, and you looked at the blue shell, it actually is called the spiny shell, which I have no clue why, but it's just the way it is. And also, like, Mario Kart, like, Home Circuit actually, like, uses most of Mario Kart 8's, like, sound effects and most of its music as well. But pretty much just kind of copied Mario Kart 8 for a bit. Because it had the same item, when you get an item sound, like, it's the same tracks, music, and... Yeah, I just had a lot of the same stuff from Mario Kart 8. A lot of the same music and a lot of the same sound effects. <laughs> I literally shaped Rymo and it didn't even work. Whatever. That. Also, Again, focused on other conversations, this is DK Mountain from Mario Kart and Double Dash. This track, um, it's kind of a long track, just like, you know, DK's Jungle Parkway was, but it's actually nice to go through all these mountains. What's annoying about this track is the rocks, because like, right here one could actually fall on you and you won't even see it. You know why, let's just do this. Just cut through the grass. This is the part I hate the most, is this bridge. It's very annoying. Okay, so yeah, that was um, BK Mountain. Very nice to go through all the uh, cannons and, well, just the cannon. Nice to go through the cannon. And also all of the mountains in it. And let's move on to Bowser's Castle from Mario Kart 64. What's weird about this track in Mario Kart 64 is it's actually the fourth track in the Star Cup in that game. Which usually Bowser's Castles are usually the third track for the Special Cup. I mean, like, is the final track in this cup, which obviously makes a lot of sense, because this track would make sense for a finale. And this is really cool. I really love this track so much. Like I said, if online was still on in this game, this will definitely be a track I'd always pick. It's just very cool to go through all of this stuff that's happening. Don't like that part because you can sometimes get bumped off. I was about to say falled off. Let's just throw this back. Well even if she got hit by that she would be back immediately toward top speed because that bike that she's using is actually a pretty good bike. There's lots of acceleration and yeah, it's pretty much like has the stats that the Dry Bomber has. Because there is max acceleration and max handling. What well, kind of max handling acceleration, but still. Also, like how you can see a Thwomp locked up there. And right here, all you have to do to avoid those Thwomps in the air when they like move around is just. Stay to one side, then move to the other side, and you'll be fine.
You also get these nice Bowser paintings. And you can also cut a little bit of grass there. Of the nice lava fountain section. You can also do a lot of mini turbos at that point there. That's the part you need to be careful of because if you hit those lava fountains you'll be pretty much really screwed because you'll go out of bounds and it can just be devastating. Also, I don't think that fire can harm you. I don't think it can anyway, because I've never even tried to hit it. Like, why would I want to hit it? I like how Toadette was about to get in first place and then she just got hit by something else. Was, yeah. And yeah, so I just knew that was going to be a second one. I just had a feeling that was going to be another blue shell right away. Oh my god, it made me drift the wrong way. This is going to be kind of a close race, honestly. Please don't avoid the pal, of course you avoid it. Or dodge it, whatever you want to say. If I get hit by another blue shell, I'm pretty much screwed. Okay, come on, just make it before anything bad happens. And that would be kind of close there. Well, that would have been really close there. But we still won, so that's all that matters. And I've actually won, I've, like I said, I've not lost any race yet. But that might change in the last Grand Prix video we're going to do a lot later on. So let's get our three star rank. And not watch the credits. And also get this ending screen again, which we don't need to discuss about. Like I said, I don't know why it takes you back to the title screen. Like why do you why do you keep taking me to the title screen? It doesn't make sense. Oh, my battery is running low on my Wii remote. But either way, it's pretty much the end of the video, so it doesn't matter. But I'll be telling you all what we're going to be doing in the next video. So in the next video, we are going to be showing off time trials, which is going to be a lot of fun because I will be doing a lot of tracks and it will be kind of a very long video. Well, sort of anyway. But it's just because it's time trials, me to at least show off a lot of courses. And like, I will also discuss these other stuff as well, even though I kind of explained what they did at the first video, but I'll explain them again, just for those of you who don't know what they do. So yeah, that was um, part eight of this playthrough. So I'll see you all for part nine, which is going to be time trials. Bye everyone.